टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक एसोसिएशन रूल्स एंड लार्ज आइटम सेट्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू एस स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट वॉट एसोसिएशन रूल्स आर एंड वॉट आर लार्ज आइटम सेट्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एसोसिएशन रूल्स एज वी नो परचेसिंग फॉर वन प्रोडक्ट वेन एन अदर प्रोडक्ट इज परचेस्ड रिप्रेजेंट्स एन एसोसिएशन रूल बिकॉज इट इज बेस्ड ऑन मार्केट बास्केट एनालिसिस दीज आर यूज इन रिटेल स्टोर्स टू एसिस्ट मार्केटिंग एसोसिएशन रूल्स आर वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन एडवर्टाइजिंग फ्लोर प्लेसमेंट एंड इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल एप्लीकेशंस दे शो द रिलेशनशिप्स बिटवीन डेटा आइटम्स दे अनकवर रिलेशनशिप्स not inherent in the particular data but which might be hidden in the particular data and they do not represent any sort of causality or correlation that is one event depending upon the other event happening and finally we detect common usages of the items by using these association rules to represent our particular association rule formation we use the sample data where t1 t2 up to t5 are five transactions and each transactions have items which are purchased in it for example t1 has bread jelly peanut butter t2 has bread and peanut butter t3 has bread milk peanut butter t4 has beer and bread t5 has beer and milk so such a sort of example database is one in which the association rules is to be found and this is viewed as a set of tuples and each tuple contains a set of items formally we define association rules as given a set of items i i1 i2 im and a database of transactions d is equal to t1 t2 up to tn then ti that is the transactions that are happening in the database are linked to i i1 i i2 up to i i k and i i j is element of i so an association rule is an implication of the form if x then y where x and y are subsets of the the item set i and are a set of items called the item sets and x intersection with y is always equal to 0 that means x and y are independent of each other x is called the antecedent of the rule and y is called the consequent of the rule we have two terms in association with these association rules first is support which is the percentage of transaction in which that item occurs so the support of an association rule if x then y is the percentage of the transaction in the database that contains both x and y so x union y for example we see here for a set where only bread is included if you look at item sets there are four rules that have this bread so 4 upon 5 that is 80% whereas beer and bread will occur in only one rule so it is 20% that is 1 upon 5 that is 20% bread jelly and milk do not occur in any rule so its support is zero bread jelly milk and peanut also do not occur in any rules separately therefore their support is zero confidence is the other term which is the strength of these association rules the confidence for an association rule if x then y is the ratio of the number of transactions that contain x as well as y to the number of transaction that only contain x where x is the antecedent and y is the consequent so if we have a rule of this type if bread then we are purchasing peanut and butter then this occur in three rules therefore we have 
3 upon 5 that is 60 percent whereas the confidence okay is 75 percent peanut butter then bread occurs in 100 percent because if we consider all the items in x and all the items in y okay divided by the number of items in x then we get 1 and therefore we have a confidence of 100 percent similarly for other rules beer and bread we have now a confidence of 50 percent peanut butter then jelly 33.3 percent jelly and peanut butter 100 percent and if jelly then milk we do not have any rules, so it is 0% confidence. Now, we will concentrate on how these association rule problem is actually tackled. Given a set of items, I1, I2, I, IM and the database of transactions, where transactions are T1 up to Tn, where Ti is a combination of the items and the transactions in the database, okay, and Iij is the element of I. The association rule problem is to identify all association rules of the type if then x then y with a minimum support and confidence. So the efficiency of this association rule algorithm usually is discussed with respect to the number of scans that are happening on your database that are registered and the maximum number of items that must be counted to calculate your particular rule. So, for the large item sets now, we prefer to have large item sets so that whatever we get as rules are more precise and they are not directly implicit to a particular user. So, if your database is very small, then directly we can make implications. So, database should be larger to support accuracy of your particular rule. To find association rules, we use and find out large item sets, we generate rules from the frequent item sets and any item set is a subset of all the items which we defined as i and a large frequent item sets is the set of all frequently purchased items whose number of occurrences is above a threshold. We keep it as a, above a particular threshold so that we can generate good rules and L is used to indicate a complete set of large item sets and I to indicate a specific large item set. So the algorithm to generate this association rule is we have a database of transaction, we have items, we have large item sets, we have support and we have confidence. All this we give as input. The confidence is retained to a higher extent and the support is kept also between 20 to 30 percent. Now, the output R, which is a generation of association rules, is satisfying the support and the confidence. So, we have an algorithm where we take the items, okay, and we keep on adding to our set. Initially, the number of rules are empty. For each item, we try on adding to the large data set, okay and this two parameters which is a support and the confidence are then calculated and we try to find out if support of the items set that we have generated to the support of the maximum item set is greater than or equal to the confidence then we keep on adding those particular rules to generate our final set for our references, we have used Dunham and Camber. Thank you.